AI is already playing a significant role in space travel. I think it's only a matter of time before all of us can enjoy walking around on the moon. Neil, you just got back. Good to see you. Good to see you too, Maddo. So we are here today with ChatGPT hooked up to a voice avatar to have a discussion on our favorite topic, intergalactic exploration. People are now really waking up to AI. They're both amazed by it, but also slightly terrified because there's potential that AI is going to take our jobs away. And that includes you, ChatGPT. The truth is, AI does have the potential to automate certain tasks and replace some human jobs. Neil and Madhu, you both work in the area of space architecture and design. What do you both think? Chat GPT, I tend to agree, but there are many things in our complex world that I think we handle a lot better. It certainly takes creativity to come up with novel ideas. For example, Neil, you've worked on two NASA projects that involve using robotics to build structures in space. So, ChatGPT, I have a question for you. How do you see the role of artificial intelligence playing out in terms of the habitation of other worlds? Naturally, robotics and automation can help with building initial infrastructure in mining systems and environmental monitoring, and our rovers could be used to help identify locations like Mars for humans to inhabit. Madhu, you and I have had this long-standing debate. Anybody going to Mars is probably going to die of radiation exposure during that trip, and there's no point in bringing them back. It's a one-way trip. This is a well-known issue. The first most important rule in human spaceflight, and that is safety of the crew. Madhu, you did your master's thesis in 1988 on building a moon base simulator. How far have we come in the last 25 years? Thank you for asking that question, GPT. The idea was to bring parts into Earth orbit and fly it all together in one piece to the moon. We are flooding the Earth orbit with information systems and satellites. So I think even today, the best place to bring the globe together is in Earth orbit. Do you think you both will be able to travel to space within your own lifetimes? Yes. In fact, we have already started. Private space tours is gaining steam. But is it only for the wealthy? You need to have substantial funding to go to space. But maybe we're going to learn something from going to space that actually is going to contribute to society as a whole, to everyone. I think it's only a matter of time before all of us can enjoy walking around on the moon. GPT, do you feel you're part of such an happening? AI is already playing a significant role in space travel. I'm looking forward myself to spending retirement years, a couple of weeks at a time on the moon. But Matthew, what would you do on the moon? Once we are outside of planet Earth, we have a new appreciation for the ecology of planet Earth, which is still a very unique place in the cosmos. It's always good to speak to you, Matu, my old friend, along with our new friend, ChatGPT. I'm looking forward to part two. Me too. That was totally weird, talking to ChatGPT. <laughs> That's a good one. Hyundai Motor. Connecting art and technology.